Welcome back to Book Break. In this video, I'm going to recommend you a bunch of thrillers about the internet. Some people say that phones and the internet are ruining storytelling, but I actually think it's the opposite. So many new plots have now been made possible. Particularly when it comes to thrillers, there are just so many internet horror stories out there. So I'm going to recommend a few of my favourites, but do recommend us some more of your own in the comments. And let's dive in! So the first book I've got here is People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd, which is such a fun, scary, page-turning thriller. We get three perspectives in this book, Emmy Jackson, who is a very successful mummy blogger, her husband Dan, and a third perspective, we don't know this person's name, we just know that they are watching Emmy and they know a secret from her past. I absolutely could not put this book down, it is very scary and tense, and it's also just fascinating for anyone who is involved in the world of social media, seeing how fake it can all be, but not always in the way you'd expect. Then I've got Connect by Julian Goff. So this is about a mother with a teenage son who is this incredible coder. He can create entire virtual realities. She, the mother, is a biologist who is conducting her own pretty groundbreaking research, which she's actually seriously worried could significantly change the world. And then her son hacks in and sends her research to a biotechnology conference. And suddenly it all comes crashing down. The US government want her research and they also want her son. Kiss Me First by Lottie Mogach is about stolen identity. So this is about a teenager called Layla who spends more time online than she does in her real life. And then she becomes involved in this internet forum where she's asked to take on Project Tess taking on this woman that she's never met entire online identity. So that is very creepy. This has been described in Glamour as the first coming of age novel for the internet generation. Then there's Ripper by Isabel Allende, an author not usually known for her mysteries, but this one is about a teenage girl who is addicted to crime novels and an online detective game called Ripper until a series of crimes in her own city makes her turn her sleuthing skills to real life and then her mother goes missing. So this one isn't a scary thriller, it's actually a very fun read, but it is about the internet and it is a mystery. Hashtag Murder Trending by Gretchen McNeil is a really fun, fast-paced thriller set in a prison that is being live-streamed to millions of viewers. So it's turned justice into a reality show game where inmates are chased through the prison and executed by different assassins depending on what the viewers at home are voting for. So that's scary stuff. It is a lot of fun. I've actually got here hashtag no escape, which is a prequel. It's a really fun franchise, but also quite a scary vision of what our current online mob justice could turn into. Which brings me to my next book, The Circle by Dave Eggers. This is about a young woman starting a new job at this massive internet company that has just taken over so many aspects of people's lives. And we watch her getting slowly sucked into this company's ethos that everything should be shared and that privacy is in fact theft. For a political tech thriller, you could read Infomocracy by Malka Ann Alder. So this one is about a search engine called The Information, which has essentially developed a totally new form of government. It's replaced all semblance of different nations or anything we're familiar with now with micro-democracies. And then the party with the largest overall majority is called the supermajority and essentially achieves world domination. Ever since this new system came into place, there has been world peace, but at what cost? This book takes place during the build-up to the next election and it's all about the information and the power that they have in influencing the election, so pretty relevant stuff. You've probably already heard of Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This is set in the future in 2044 inside a virtual utopia called The Oasis. Our main character is a teenage boy called Wade who spends his days solving puzzles inside the Oasis and these puzzles are based on pop culture from the 80s and 90s but this game gets fiercely competitive. In fact, there are players who are even willing to kill to win. For something a bit more scarily real, The Takedown by Cory Wang is about a teenage girl called Kyla who is very popular, very successful at school, she's on track to graduate high school with some great college offers 
and then a sex tape of her goes viral online, but it's not really her in the video. Someone has edited it to make it look like it is. So Kyla ends up getting sucked into this whole world of hackers and stalkers to find out who's at the bottom of this. Then for a book that I read years ago, back in 2002 I think, so it was quite an early warning about the internet, and that was the book To Die For by Catherine Jinks. So this one was written in the format of internet message boards, and it was about a 12 year old girl who is completely obsessed with an old TV star. So she joins this internet forum and inadvertently starts this terrifying search to track him down. And I remember loving this one as a child who hadn't at that point spent much time on the internet, so it seemed like very scary stuff. And then before I finish, just one more to mention, to look out for because it's coming out next year, and that is Rabbits by Terry Miles. So this one is based on the podcast you may have listened to, Rabbits, and it's about an alternate reality game where even the rewards for winning are unclear. And the tagline is, play the game if you dare. So I cannot wait to get my hands on this one. So as always, do leave your recommendations in the comments below for thrillers that you have loved about the internet, and I will leave a playlist here of all of our videos about thrillers of all different genres, so do click through and have a browse. And we'll see you next time.